let's fix that. Let's turn this away. There we go. <laughs> what a difference a little light can make. Okay, hello, welcome. Let's get this party started. Make sure you got your ukuleles. Make sure they are tuned. Let's go. Hello, Olivia. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. How I've missed seeing you in the chat. You should text Mari and tell her you're here. She would be thrilled. Mari hasn't been here in a while either. And I know she would probably troll me, but be very happy. Hi, Tana. How are you? Okay, so let's get to work. I'm pulling up the Muse score version of it. So, oh, and thank you, Karen. Yes, please remember to hit the like button. Um, I'm pulling up the Muse score version of this so that we can hear it. Okay, so we worked on this last week, but if this is your first time here, it's totally okay. So just to kind of start the lesson, I'm gonna play the arrangement that I put together. because I would like for you to start feeling that pulse, um, start feeling how we're gonna be moving through the music. I've been practicing bar seven and eight are getting easier, sweet. So let's just kind of review what we've got. I'm gonna point downwards a little bit if that's okay. So there's a free principle, there's a link below and the mod, sorry about that, sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to hold a G minor and let me angle downward. Hi, Cheryl. Okay, there's a G minor. I'm gonna pick that with my thumb and then C and E together and then A string and then open the A string and then back to C and A together. I'm gonna reach with my pinky power for that beautiful high note. And then F plus C, a little strum, and then just an F. By the way, these can be strums or they can be four string picks. Okay, you have a choice there. I feel like my ukulele is slightly out of tune. Let me play another one because I don't have a tuner in front of me. Okay. Okay, there we go. So again, we're holding a G minor, picking both strings, then A, then A again open. Hi, Monica. Then C and E. Reach with pinky power for that five. Hi, Melinda. And then F plus a C. And then just an F. And then the three and the two again. A, A open. Then one and two on C and E. Use the pinky on E string for a four, and the two on C again. Now again, what we did in the first bar, the first full bar, okay, so so far we've got the first six bars. Okay, 
Watch me this time, watch me. One, two, three, four, five. right there we're right at bar six give me a thumbs up if you're ready or red hearts if you're ready if you are still stuck somewhere give me some yellow emojis or some yellow hearts carolyn how are you doing thumbs up sweet <laughs> i love how literal you are Hi, Haya. Sweet. I had a feeling you'd enjoy this arrangement of Hedwig's theme and the Hedwig, the Hedwig thumbnail photo where she has no time. Okay, sweet. <laughs> now let's go to bars seven and eight. Now, Shelly M6, you said they're working and getting easier. So if you found some cool finger hacks for um, seven and eight, please let us know. Okay, so we've got bars five, I mean, we've got to play frets five, six, and eight on that B flat minor. So I'm gonna do five, look up, five, six, eight. Again, five, six, eight. So I'm gonna position five, six, eight. That sounds so beautiful. So I'm gonna do that and look up, look up, look up. Hola, hola, my fair. Look up. Shift over one string, go up, just on the A string. So I did this, look up, look up. And look up again. I'm gonna shift one more fret. And that gives me three, four, and six. So I'm doing just uh one, two, three, five. Oh, I like that. Was that Olivia? Okay. Olivia says you can shift from the two three five. Let me see. So the bar before, you've got your normal G minor. So we're going bar six, right? Right here, it'd be super cool if you can shift down to that position of, of index middle pinky. And then you can use that same position all the way down for all those different changes. Now on the, if you have the latest uh, principle, the one that I just added, I changed the note after that to a fourth fret on G string. Cause that was easier. I believe Shelly, you said that was an easier position. I tried it and I liked it. Shelly and this. So um, can I explain it again? Yeah, 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 of course. Okay, so let's go to bar six. So I'm gonna do two, three, right? Go ahead and do two, three, like this. And then borrow the index for the A string and come back to two, three. And then put the pinky on, hi Kristen, the fifth fret. And now this exact position, shift it with the pinky all the way to the eight. And that should set you up for the five, six, eight, shift one up and shift another one up. Cause the spacing with two, three, five is the same that you'll need as five, six, eight. 
and three, four, six. So this is the position <laughs> you're gonna need there. So it'll be, you got it? And then you have four, hi profe! Three, three, six. Now that four that I'm talking about on G string, Shelly Andes, I believe, said they liked the four on G string. Shelly M6 likes the two on A. So that, no, that'd be natural. Ooh, this ukulele needs to be two and two. That's sour. Um, both of these would work, so it's up to you to choose which one you like. The easier it gets. Sweet. So, um, let's take it at bar six. Let's take it at bar six. One, two, three, four, five. And that should be um, pretty easy. Where did I leave the tuner? Ah, oh, I left it in my bedroom. Let me grab the tuner. Well, I have really been absent for a long time. What the heck are the bikinis and the blue pants for? <laughs> Somebody can explain the bikinis and the blue pants to carry the unicorn. Um, I'm gonna bring my tuner. So Carrie used to be um, here almost every day for the lessons last year. Yeah, it was last year. Back when we used to get like 200 people, 150, but, but there were so many trolls in the chat that it was really exhausting. And there were so many like, I don't, I don't mean to sound rude, but like needy people who just wanted a shout out. Um, and it was like really annoying and hard. Like it, it was, it would drain us. So now Carrie, as you can see, there are very like few people here, but it's not what it used to be. And I am so much happier with that. Like I can actually teach, it's calm and relevant and the mods as soon as someone is like here being irrelevant they're like just shut it down fast so um yeah oh guys so this um tuner was a gift from jill a patreon member and uh it like it's so cool because all you have to do is like, it's called a Rody 3, I'll link it down below. You go to tuner, because it's also metronome, and you go to the instrument you're gonna tune. So I'm gonna tune a standard ukulele. And, uh, and then it's telling me, all right, put it on G. It wants me to tune G. So. And then once it's done, it goes boop boop, and it goes to the next string. Now, so let's see what's ready. And A. Okay. The tuner comes straight from Hogwarts. <laughs> so I made a video about this and I posted it on TikTok and as soon as I posted it, it got like 20,000 views, which is really, really, really good for me. Uh, and then I checked like an hour later and it had 50,000 views. And that night it got 100,000 views. And then the next day it hit a million views. 
And uh, I shared this with my Telegram squad. And now I think it's past uh, 5 million views. Uh, can you use the Rody on open C tuning? You can change it to a specific intonation using the app. And basically on the app, you program it exactly to do what you want it to do. And then you just hit the button that said sync, like synchronize. And then this will do whatever you want it to do just by using the app. So yes. Yeah. Hi, Mr. K. It's at 6.8 million now. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. I think it can be tuned to any hertz that you would like it to. So yeah, it, it blew up. string and or you could play a two on a string and hi you made it anyway we're at three three six now we've got a five and a four and then one one Now I'd like to hear from the squad. Are you doing that five, four by sliding? Is Naomi here? Naomi's style is to slide a lot. And some other people here, you like to assign one finger to each one. If so, if you do the sliding, uh, so you have three, three, six. That kind of, positions you really comfortably to reach that one and the other one yeah you're sliding and then three three six without sliding five four and then you slide with the middle but i have that i have that pull off sound hmm. i'm gonna do it slow And then, let me see. So let me do the second line. from that one to the bar 10. I, you use ring and middle for the one one. I'm with a G minor shape, G minor shape where? Two, three, five. Cool, I like that. Okay, so a bar nine, prof is at a G major, G minor shape, which gives them the two and three nicely. The one is there, and then the two, three, five, he just does by adding pinky power. Now you see how we have that random three on G string? 
you can play that as a one on A, if that works better for you. I don't know what works better, really. <laughs> I mean, all of this is possible. It's just about finding the best fingers to use for that position. Oh, I do not have the good cheek. <laughs> I thought you were going to have a good cheek. I'm doing it as G7 with the pinky on five. G7 with the pinky on five. Which one? One is way easier. So let me do 10. So we've got like a G major, G minor shape with a pinky. You're right, one is way easier. I should change that. I like that. So, oh, you don't have the good sheet. Ah, 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 okay. If you go to the link down below, you can get the one. Okay, and Neko is doing... I'm taking notes, was that bar 10? G3 can be A1, correct. G3 can be A1. I like how you asked that. That was really easy to understand. So. by note on that third line so we're gonna do two three five uh, you've got you can do the G minor shape with a pinky power and then when you lift the pinky you're already at one so it's kind of helpful to have that G minor shape so and then you've got a six on E string, if you position yourself as baby bar, so six, six, seven, you'll be ready for the next part. And then slide, slide. And then you've got G minor again. For that second string six note, you can do the E flat shape anticipated. E flat shape like this. Huh? Which E flat shape? Let me know. Like that, as you said. Okay, thank you. Everybody, let's drop some bikinis and some red hearts in the chat for Profe. Thank you so much, Profe. For everything. Always helping one. The baby bar. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Okay, sweet. Let's do bar 10 with a G minor shape. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. How did you do with that? Would you like to hear it once? Let me play it once if you'd like to just hear it. Okay, let's 
let's try it together. One, two, three, four, five, six. I started wrong. Let me try again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kristen had a question. Bar 10, G minor shape, but what's with the single three? Bar 10, oh, you know what? That single three, switch it to a one on A. To a one on A. So that single three on bar 10, if you're doing a G minor, and add the pinky and then switch to just like the, you lift the pinky and just pick on A string, you get the same note. And if you stay in this baby bar, you can shift the whole thing if it's easier for you to stay there. I'll add, if you Abby Bar, <laughs> I'm like calling it Abby Bar. <laughs> if you Abby Bar five three two, you can slide in the middle of six. In the middle, you can slide the middle to six and bar six six seven. Okay, hold on. I'm like laughing, so I don't know if I I got that yet. If you Baby Bar five three two. Five, three, two. I don't know how I would baby bar that out like this. Five, three, three, two. Is this what you're talking about? <laughs> if you're talking about this, um, five, three, two, like that? Yes, that, okay. So you're talking about doing something like this. Okay. Oh, we hit a hundred. Thank you. Thank you so much. Carolyn, do you see how this year it's much more chill? <laughs> We're also doing much more complicated things. Dude, this is hard. Yeah, that's why we have fewer people too. Because it's, it's hard. It's not easy. But we've been building it up. We started with like chord melodies where we had like one note per bar. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were singing lyrics. <laughs> Chanting little um, spells using my skinny tenor, and I'm loving it. Yay! It's been quite a journey. Like, Profe, thank you for making little chord melody players out of all of us. Um, okay, so let's try th just playing through that bar, um, the line with bar 10. I think all we need is like repetition. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> okay, here we go. From bar 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bernadette is a parcel tongue. <laughs> I am a Slytherin. Carrie Unicorn here told me to take the Pottermore quiz and I got Slytherin. 
And um, if it's... <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you would like Kristen, Carrie. Kristen is no nonsense. Uh, <laughs> no one was shocked. No nonsense, pretty dry humor. <laughs> so slither here. Okay, let's do that line again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this is the pickup for the next bar. We really didn't have to change much. I want to play but I'm in class. You can watch the replay or you can skip class. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't skip class. Okay. So again, from bar 10, but do bar 14 because you can do bar 14. One, two, three, four, five, six. Da, da, da. Same position for bar 14. Now let's do bar 15. Well, let's do bar 14 actually. So we're at the last line and you have five, six, seven. Not bad, right? Or seven, five, six, depending on how you're looking at it. And these can be strummers or these can be uh, pickers, okay? So you're doing C, A, E, C, A, E. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, two, three, four, five, go. I like Madeline. Bar 14 is my favorite. Bar one is my favorite. <laughs> All right, let's do bar 15. So we've just done five, six, seven, five, six, seven. We have the six in common. So what we're gonna do is kind of like look up, we're gonna pivot, did you see that? So cool, right? Little pivot. So you've done your little pivot, but we don't need the ring finger snow, we need the pinky. So the ring finger and the pinky are gonna share a string. So look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. So we're here and we're gonna rotate and add. I totally nailed bar one. <laughs> Hi Bernadette. I wanna say thank you for your ukulele tutorial, especially 30 day ukulele tutorial from your lessons that learned how to play ukulele songs since the beginning. Thank you, wow, thank you. Let's drop some orange hearts in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheers to you. I'm so glad you learned and that you're playing ukulele. Woo! My baby's crying. And she's not crying anymore. Okay, cool. So we're gonna do bar 14. Da, 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 and then rotate the hand of the pinky. Da, da, da. And yes, somebody said it that bar 15 was the same as something else. The bar seven. How cool is that? You just got. But I changed the four on G string. You can do the four on G string like it is in bar seven, or you can do a seven on. E string. And then we've got six, eight, seven. Six, eight, seven. Six, eight, seven. Five, four on A. 
and then one, one, three, and you can do a little G minor strum at the end. So let's work on that last line. And next time we meet, next Monday, what we'll do is just kind of play through the song and work out the kinks on anything so anything that's really difficult. My brain does not match my fingers. If that's happening, try it slower, like slower. So let's take bar 14 and go really slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do it again, those two bars. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Again. One, two, three, bar fourteen. Ready. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And again, you can use the four on G string or the seven on E. Both work. Now let's do the last two bars. You've got six, eight, seven, which that is, uh, or seven, six, eight, seven, eight, six. That's a G minor shape. Profe would be telling us that. It's the same as a G minor, but our index fingers on the sixth fret instead of the first. That helps, right? That helps with thinking. So we've done three, four, six. And since on our three, four, six, right? Since our ring finger is gonna be the one moonbeam high, play at the speed you find success. So Carrie Unicorn here is um, a music teacher and also teaches ukulele, but like in real life, not just online. So Carrie, thank you, because that's a really, really good, a good uh, like mantra that I can use here. So go at the speed or play at the speed you find success. Because everyone can play this, it's just everyone can play it at a specific tempo. So again, uh, we're gonna do that five, six, eight bar. So no, 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 that's six, eight, seven bar. Six, eight, seven. So you're doing a G minor shape. And I'm just moving the whole thing for that 5-4 and then and finishing it. So 6-8-7 give me a G minor shape and then only A string. Hi, where have you been? Moonbeam. to add the two and the three on the middle, like the first uh, note of the second bar on that last note, you can. Hi, Eddie. Okay, so let's see if we can do that last line. Last line. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Let's do it again. We'll do it three more times. Hi, Ashok. Welcome. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe. I'm gonna add a two there on that last G minor. That would be a D. I'll add the updated page here and on Patreon. Thank you, Medic, for reminding me about the Patreon one. Let me export it now so I can give you all the latest version. And, Profe, I will be using your version as well. Um, so I'll send you a message about that. Okay, let's do the last line again. One, Two, go to five, six, seven. One, two, three, ready, go. Okay, so. Let me add it on our printable page. Ukulele. What an interesting word it is, the ukulele. Okay, so let me change it. it to the page. Boom. Okay. Latest version added on the printable link. Okay. So let's do that last line. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm still not sure about that seven after the F A flat minor on bar 15 at last seven, but I'll, <laughs> what are y'all doing for that seven? Bye, Drishia. I just got through measure nine. I'm exhausted. It takes so much brain power, right? But it sounds so cool. Still sounds on like not organized. Would you all appreciate a tutorial where it's not a live but like a tutorial video?
I, I'm still getting stuck on that one seven at the end. A tutorial, yep, okay, sweet. If you do two on the A string, maybe it'll be easier just to slide that finger down to the six for the G minor shape. Let me try that. So I've just done five, six, eight. And then. That might work for me. Something is just that, like not clicking. I'm gonna work on that one. So let's meet next week. We'll work on that bar 15 and 16, which is a problem area for me. What do you feel is a problem area for you? What would you like to work on next meeting? Bye, Shinjini. Have a nice dinner. Tutorial, you like it? Okay. So as I work on it, I'll get better and then I'll um, be able to do a better tutorial. You get a little exhausted after playing some songs, but it is so rewarding. It is. When I try this song from memory, I have to watch out that I don't play green sleeves. Yes, I, I was thinking about green sleeves all the time. It's because it's in the same time signature. It's all doable, but I switched from the five, six, seven on bar 14 to the eight, five, six on bar 15 is getting me every time. Okay, so that five, six, seven to the eight, five, six. So Shelly, right there, look up real quick and look. So rotate on your middle finger. Look, look, look. You do this one and then almost do a mirror image of the shape. Reverse it and then add the pinky. We're take, talking about the five, six, seven and bar 14. So five, six, seven. And then rotate at the pinky. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do there. That could work with a bit of practice. Thanks. Yeah, that's what I'm doing there. And um, I'm Shelly M6. I think you're a way better chord melody player than I am. So I know you'll figure either that shape out or a better one. going down to fret two for that B natural. So um, let me try that. I'm at the F five, six, eight. I think I like that too. I might switch that to a two. Let me know if you all like that. So the F A flat minor, there's a seven after it. The last note on bar 15. Do you like a two on A instead. So it would be five, six, eight. I think that's the easiest. Yes, 10 to 11, sweet. You're getting there. Oh, I miss you, Carrie. I'm glad you're here. I like doing the slide on too. Yeah, I like doing the slide on too. Can you share the MuseCore uh, GP file so we can practice the timing? Oh yeah, let me do that. Let me export it now. Export. And oh, I'm gonna export it as PDF also for the patrons. And then save as, where do I share the MuseCore? I don't even know. And yes, I'll, sh I'll check the tab, profile. Um, how would I share on Patreon? 
Yeah, I guess I can make a public post, right? Because this one, everyone has it. Yeah. Y'all are smart. Okay. Let me see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so I'm going to make the, pub the Patreon post public. And I'll share the Muse score file there. And Hedwig's theme. Cool. And I'll share the PDF. Yay. And done. Okay. So um, if you go to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Bernadette teaches music, I've shared the Muse score file. This means that, let me switch the camera angle. This means that if you download this app, this it's a free program, by the way, so you don't have to pay for it. It's kind of like Sibelius if you're, um, if you got trained with Sibelius, but it's a free version. And if you do that, if you have a Mac, um, go to view and play panel, and that'll open up these bars over here. And you can change the tempo, like the speed. You can make it faster or slower. And it's nice that it has a blue bar because you can know what note you're on and it keeps you really honest, right? I'm gonna put it to 40 BPM and let's see if we can play it. I don't think I can play it, but I wanna try. This is, this is hard stuff. Okay, let's try it at 40 BPM. It's on my Patreon. I just refreshed the latest post on Hedwig's theme. I love Sibelius. Yeah, me too. But when I started the YouTube, I couldn't afford a $300 program. I was like, oh, that's like the food for the month. <laughs> so I downloaded Sibelius. I mean, MuseScore, and then I got used to MuseScore. So now that's what I use. One, two, three, four, five. I was on the wrong note. One, two. Wait, hold on. Let me set the metronome. Now that I've got the tempo, I can count us in. One, two, three, four, two on a string worked thank you oh your hair so long you haven't been to the barber in over a year i started just cutting my hair i've been making that face for my own playing the whole time <laughs> i always use notepad free from finale oh i didn't know that Alrighty, how did you do 
Hi, Christine. You almost got it? Cool. Let's do it one more time and then I'll sign off and get to work on other stuff. By the way, if you want to have a productive day today, I released a video of just background music. It's just ukulele jazz. So I worked with my friend Cole and he made the background music. I went and recorded the sunset at, um, at a nearby uh, lake and the sunrise in my backyard. And I added it as the images to this. And I think it looks pretty nice. Is the follow along thing giving anyone else a sign in prompt? Oh, it's giving you a sign in prompt? I don't, I don't know how to remove that, but I can look it up. That background music video is so lovely. Thank you, Christine. Oh, yeah, I wanted to, uh, I use that kind of music all the time to work and I thought I should make one. <laughs> so that's where that came from. Maybe a little sneak peek with guitar lessons. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. Um, all right, let's do one last time and then we'll all carry on with our days or nights. One, two, three, four, five. scared there that I'm gonna get like gonna miss it <laughs> it's not too bad though alrighty fam thank you so much for today mods thank you so much for being like on it <laughs> what to on a string ah uh, so the you see the a flat minor and the last line bar 15 um the last note of bar 15 was a seven on E string, I switched it to a two on A. Um, that was Phyllis's suggestion and it worked really well for me and for several people here on the chat. So we switched it. So got it. Yes, sweet. Um, Carrie, how are you doing? How's my unicorn doing? I look out of focus, really? I don't know if you can refresh or change the uh, quality that you're watching the video at because sometimes YouTube will load it at the lowest quality and you can change thanks everyone what an awesome life yeah it, it's not as much work as it used to be it used to be so much work to like mute people and everything and now it's like a real learning space and hopefully everyone feels like they're growing in their ukulele journey I actually got the chance to play and mod yes yes uh and hi florence got it thank you sweet remember everyone hit the like yes thank you the the, the squad that we have now carrie is just like really sassy people who just want to learn how to play uke and have zero patience for the haters so they just like zap anybody that's a hater or anyone that looks like a hater they're just like bye bye so <laughs> they're on it which makes it a lot better for everyone to mod and to enjoy they do rule they do the same for seven which seven the other seven um so thank you and thank you phyllis that helped a lot candace's thanks learned a lot me too like y'all are pushing me to learn these songs that i would i would have never like tried to do chord melody because i would have been too intimidated it's brilliant i am think chord melody the best 
You are a great tutor. Thank you. I'd like to take part in a play alone. Cool. I'll let you know when we do our next one. Profe has almost finished editing our last one. He's just missing one really slow member's submission. But it's because I have to show you all. I have to show you. Sayara sent in this for the baby. <laughs> Sayara. Oh. So I'm going to record the baby. And this will be her last, I think, video appearance for a while. Because Jaime and I agreed that as she gets a little older, we're going to share less and less and less of her online just to protect her. Because um, the thing that I learned and uh, Carrie was asking me this morning, the thing that I learned from going viral on TikTok is that like, there's a lot of like hate and a lot of judgment out there. And I was thinking about it like when the video went viral, I, I thanked God and I was like, wow, thank God I didn't go viral like a year or two years ago. And it sounds crazy to say that because I think anyone who goes into my profession, like that's your dream to go viral or to like have millions of views. But I'm glad I didn't because I would have quit. I would have quit if I would have received the messages and the comments that I received now on that video. That, like, if I would have received those a year or two ago, I would have quit. Um, thankfully, now the experience of going live and being on YouTube, on Instagram, I've been exposed to um, hate. Not a lot of it, but, like, I have been exposed to hate. Uh, people telling me I'm not a good musician. People telling me I can't sing. People telling me that I shouldn't be teaching. Everything. So, I got used to it. Not used to it. I learned how to handle it. I learned how to look at the positive comments better, more than the negative comments. I learned, and what I shared with Kiara um, on Telegram, like don't take advice from some, don't take criticism from someone you t wouldn't take advice from. And um, I, when I got like super excited about those, like the video, growing I messaged Ricky and I shared with my telegram squad that like I was crying in excitement the other bit said I don't know if it was a video message or a voice message that I sent Ricky Ricky Sanborn I said like the video is getting a lot of hate and he said B getting hate is the way that a video grows and like that's a sad reality but like when you think about people that are like at the top of like media like the Kardashians like love them or hate them they get a lot of hate and I thought like, wow, like it's unfortunate that this is the way to kind of grow. He's like, the hate will inspire comments, either people to agree or people to disagree, but it'll spark a discussion. And like uh, one of the top comments to this tool was people saying like a true musician wouldn't need it because a true musician can use their ear. And a lot of people commenting were saying like, I have arthritis. It's painful to tune. So if I can just put this on the tuning pegs and it can tune for me, like, that's awesome. Uh, Carrie and other music teachers said, like, um, I have a lot of students. I don't have time to tune. If I can give this to a kid and they can tune for me, like, that's awesome. And this can detect when it's on the wrong peg. Like, if it's on the wrong string, it will detect it. So that's amazing for a student. Um, and then somebody said, I have fibromyalgia. Like, this is awesome. Somebody else said, uh, this would be amazing for deaf people because they, this would, this vibrates when it's tuned. And so, and by the same token, people who are blind can also use this because of the vibration. It vibrates when it's tuned. So it's a really cool tool. And like Shelly just said, if you don't need it, don't buy it. But, um, yeah, if, if I would have gone viral a year or two ago with all the hate that I got, I would have quit. Now I know like, oh, okay, it's sparking discussion. Like I can respond to certain hate comments without responding with hate. Um, and so I, I, it's a lot of techniques, you know, but um, that showed me like, I'm exposed to that and that's fine, but I don't want to expose my daughter to all that. I don't want her being judged or criticized or talked about or even 
seen by these kinds of people. Like the ukulele world is a really, really kind of beautiful corner pocket of the internet, but the rest of the internet is not like that. And so um, we're gonna appear in this Lion Sleeps Tonight collaboration, the baby and I, but after that, it's gonna be less and less. Um, you still may see her, but uh, not as much. And by the way, I do not at all judge anybody who posts photos of their kids, sisters, nephews, grandchildren, or anything like that. Like, I actually love seeing family photos and family content. It's just something that we're choosing to do. Just like I respect them, I hope they respect me. And I can't force people to respect me, but it's just... You know, it's a choice. Uh, we may change our mind later on. Uh, or if Jenny chooses to be on the internet, if she wants to be on my channel. Like, I've had kids who want to be on the channel. If, if she wants to be on the channel, if she wants to be playing with mommy, then I'll, I'll open open that up. Definitely um, making that her choice, you know. So, yeah. I... Honestly, I feel I'd prefer if my famous parents didn't share me too. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a choice. I think that if I exposed her on all the videos and her friends later on could just find her and make fun of her, that would be really difficult for her, you know? So I want it to be her choice. It's a very good idea to get rid of any location tags on photos, bits of your kids. Absolutely, yeah. I think she's awake now. I hear my mom. I think she's awake now. I hear my mom giggling. And wow, I did a terrible job with my makeup today. I was not blending. <laughs> you know why? Because I was on WhatsApp chatting with Carrie. She's the cutest baby ever, but people are cruel and find a way to get people. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's such a... Look up Blake Lively's speech about... Um, children, it's a dark topic. It's a really dark topic. So if you want to check out of the chat, check out now. Because it's really, 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 really dark uh, and disturbing. But, okay, you got five seconds to check out. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so uh, Blake Lively, she's an actress. She was in, what was that super famous show? Um, about rich kids in New York, she, she, she played, um, oh, she's married to Ryan Reynolds, Gossip Girl, thank you, she, um, so she was in Gossip Girl, she gave a beautiful speech about how children are used for pornography and for, um, sex trafficking. And I believe this was like a fundraiser to help the cause that seeks to get children out of those situations. And um, she shared that there's like underground organizations that share media about children and like really, 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 really young children, like months old. Um, in really awful situations and these people share videos of what they're doing to those babies and those children with each other and in order to join these like groups you have to provide new fresh media that hasn't been published anywhere on the internet which means that these people are constantly creating it and that just like it's just scary to think that there's a world like that out there you know and it's real yeah and to me like and like to any mother you know their children is the most beautiful their child is the most beautiful child in the world and you want to protect them and you want to keep them as far away from people like that as possible and i would just like just to keep her safe from anybody who wants to tamper with their media and their photos or their videos or even wants to find us you know it's just the safest thing to do for Daniela is for me not to share her. Again, if she decides she wants to be online, there's nothing I can do about that. You know, like kids, kids will be kids and they'll find ways to do the things that they want to. So in that case, when she decides to 
be online if she do, does, then I'll try and guide her the best I can. But that's all I can do as a parent, right? So that that's why we're taking that route. Again, I'm not judging anybody who publishes photos of their little ones. I love seeing little ones online. I love families that share, moms that share. But it's just like going viral this week was a blessing and a wake up call. Like blessing, like, oh, well, we reached a lot of people and a lot of people are now watching tutorials on TikTok, which is super cool. But the other side of that token is like, wow, there's some really dark people out there and I'd rather keep my daughter and them as far away as possible. So, um, so yeah, long story short, we're gonna do the Lion Sleeps Tonight collab and then that'll be probably one of the last things that I share. Uh, I don't even let my mother share photos of my little precious. Yeah, some people, some people don't want that. And, you know, I think it's just about respect. I'm like, respect people who choose to do it and people who choose not to. Uh, um, your position's a little bit more vulnerable because you have an audience. Yeah, I think that's, that's kind of what made me realize it today. Like, just some really mean people out there. And I would just hate for her to, like, later look and see that there's mean comments about her. Like... Kids are already in a tough position because of bullying and hate from their peers. Now imagine like if Daniela found some comment out there somewhere of some stranger on the internet saying something about her or, you know, tampering with her pictures. Like, I don't know what that would do to her. So yes, we're gonna go back to more pictures and content of the freeloader and Kit Kat. They're so photogenic, those two, and they love the camera and posing, so we'll have more kitties. And hi, Kaisa. Yeah, regular social media pressure is already tough enough, exactly. I was always bullied as a kid, even as an adult for it, but it's not nice. No, it's not, it's awful. And like I said, I'm in a position where I get bullied, but now I've learned how to handle it, how to deal with it. Honestly, I read the messages, I chuckle, and I forget. Like, just... And I want to do a video where I read mean comments, but I'm in such a habit of just deleting them. And then I'm like, what did that comment say? And I forget. Like, I remember two hate comments. One of them said that I was a transvestite, that I was obviously male, and that you could see my Adam's apple. And I was like, obviously a male. So that one stood out because I was just like, what? Like, I don't know if I should be insulted or confused. Um, and the other one was another like really fam not famous, but pretty big YouTuber saying I was using my body for views. So like that one stung, you know? So those two I remember, but like, I wish I remembered the other ones so that I could read it. Because I like how Jimmy Kimmel makes celebrity read mean tweets about themselves. Um, it's funny to look at it uh, and watch their reaction to it. But I forget and I delete them. The U community feels like a safer space, especially with uh, DJ in front of the camera during our Zoom, se Zoom sessions. Where did Danny come from? I wish I wasn't allowed on social media period until I was 18 or something. Teens don't have the emotional maturity to move on like you do. Yeah, I wish that like there was some kind of class or even if it's just once a week, like a support group for teens that taught coping strategies for... Um, I thought my dad was here, but I think he's on like phone call with my mom like strategies on how to deal with it because that would be really useful i think all righty y'all well i'm gonna check out of here and go eat i only had half a mango before this my stomach was feeling kind of like it was Jaime's birthday this weekend and i made him carrot cake and i had way too much of it and i think my stomach's like oh we're not used to like bread and sugar so I just received a PayPal donation. Um, the name says, I am an earthling. I am con. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Alrighty, fam. Well, take care. Have a nice rest of your day. And um, 
Thank you, Fred. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll catch you soon. Take care. Ciao, ciao.